First, I want to thank all of the sponsors that made this event happen this evening. It's been a tremendous success. I would like to encourage everyone to have a wonderful and enjoyable evening as you learn about and support the mission of this terrific organization. Tonight, Lord God, we thank you for the International Brain Research Foundation. Thank you for their dedication and commitment to the research of the understanding of the brain in order to diagnose and to treat injury, illness, and disease. Where other scientists end with knowledge, Phil forges on with imagination. He created a very unique organization that gives hope, offers hope to those for whom little hope is offered. It's my privilege, honor, and delight to introduce to you the man of the hour, Dr. Philip DeFina. There are about 100 billion neurons in your head. Unfortunately, when things go wrong and there's damage, the brain is not able to repair itself or regenerate cells. So up until maybe a decade or so ago, there were very few treatments. We're treating autism, we're treating Alzheimer's, we're treating disorders of consciousness with great success. 53 out of 70 individuals who were deemed untreatable were able to be treated successfully and go from coma, vegetative, and minimally conscious states back to full consciousness. He was 90 years old at the time my father fell. In eight weeks, he was supposed to be honored at the daughter, Daughters of Israel Home for the Aged, who he was a big donor with. My father couldn't talk. He didn't know his name. He didn't know where he lived. And that was where Dr. Phil came in. Eight weeks later, my father was at the event and just as clear and, and brilliant as everybody in this room. And I was totally amazed at the work of Dr. Philip DeFina. This is a foundation that is absolutely focused every day on bringing together the best minds. Meeting him, but what was absolutely amazing to me was to see these soldiers who had been brought out of a coma when the rest of the world had given up on them. His perseverance through brain damage and his pursuit to overcome the odds is something that sustained me morning, noon, and night. So I want to thank you again for naming this award after him. This would make Dan very pleased and it certainly does help me to know what good has come from the struggle. And I truly believe that he is motivating me each minute and I know that he is here with us tonight. I'm proud to tell you that Dr. Defina now is a Vice President for Rehabilitation and Chief Neuroscientist of Maryland's Hospital Medical Center. I sat with my 14-year-old niece in a coma with no hope when we made the agonizing decision to let her go. I made a promise to Jenny that night to make a difference. That promise led me to Jessica. Jessica's family, who was also losing hope. But I'm proud to say she is now being treated by Dr. Defina and his group. Let me start out by saying that I spent my childhood with a sister who never had the brain capacity of older than eight months old. She died at 21 years old. I knew when she couldn't scratch her own itch. And when I scratched the itch, this is what I heard. And it made me realize that the simple act of scratching your own itch in my family was something to value. On behalf of my sister, I could look at you in the eye and say, the work that you do, you doctors and you scientists, should never be taken for granted. Clinician of the Year Award to Jonathan Fellas, MD, 
Many people say, how do you do it? And I say, I come to work to hit a home run every day. This is the most important charity event I have ever attended. During times when we would have to close the door and say we're done, and then next thing you know, a check came in the mail from the Plavsky Foundation to keep us alive. In recognition of your outstanding support, dedication, and generosity to Michael De Pasquale Jr. from the International Brain Research Foundation. We're inspired by him. He continues to see us. Please come up here, Officer Olmedo, NYPD. We want to give you the Hero Award recipient from the International Brain Research Foundation for 2011. Thank God. On the 11th day, many doctors thought I was not going to make it, but thank God I made it. Patients who were told they would never wake up from coma, who returned back to school, soldiers who have been able to awaken, some return back to active duty, every individual that we help and every step of the way in their improvement is a big thing for us and for their families. And thank you IBRF for not only making this possible, but for all that you do for our nation's military and all the lives that you touch.